Luca and I am the owner and founder and co-founder and everything else in between of Beckman Baking Co. This video is to take you through what I do, the process and how Beckham and Baking Co. started as an idea. Not howling when she's waving high her other hands in mine. Uh, we just left the house. Oh, do we? <laughs> <laughs> uh, packed up in the place. We're heading out to the factory to do our mixing today and. Yeah, it's a beautiful day. Great, great for bread. All right, where do we get started? So first off, I'm um, gonna get out my computer, which has all of my orders and stuff uh, for tomorrow. So today we're doing 28 uh, loaves of bread, 28 of the standard sourdough, doing eight baguettes and um, five multi seeds so this week it's my first week doing multi seed so a little bit nervous but it should be pretty fun i've set up a spreadsheet so that um set up a spreadsheet that records everything here so i type in you know i've got 28 loaves of sourdough and it just spits out the numbers so that's what yeah i just put 28 in and now i know that i need 12.74 kilos of flour Eight kilos of water, um, and yeah, let's get started. Beauty. <laughs> Food safety at its finest. This, this apron has seen the best of its days, so please, organic teas, Mama Mimi, get an apron done. They're good quality, hair. Huh? Yeah, yeah, they're organic. I think it's important, especially in these times to support your local businesses. So spending a little bit extra on like an organic tea or something like that can really keep that business in business. It's pretty important to me as I know being a local. Uh, so I s start off with the amount that's gonna be more. So I'm starting, I'm gonna get my my sourdough, like the standard sourdough going first. The dough, well the bread that has more orders for will be mixed first in that uh, mixer over there because that will run for about 20 minutes whereas the amount that I'm mixing in here will probably only really need about 20 minutes, uh, 15 minutes of mixing, if that. Mm -hmm. Now, we just incorporate the flour and the water. This is actually known as the uh, the auto lease. And this is, this just hydrates your dough, uh, your flour better than mixing everything. So it incorporates for, you know, four to five minutes. I know when it's done. Um, and then I leave it for 20 minutes and basically the flour soaks up any of that water and stuff like that. So while we wait, this is where I'm gonna get on to my uh, baguettes. I'm mixing my baguette dough and my um, my multi seed dough, so. Okay, 20 minutes and counting. Thanks, boss. This is actually a very good mixer. I'm pretty impressed for the first time it's been used by me, but it's also a high hydration dough, so you can see that um, it's a bit more wet than the traditional baguette dough. Uh, the traditional sourdough dough. So this will now auto lease for 20 minutes as well. This is all pretty well incorporated, so now I'll start a timer for 20 minutes to let the dough hydrate, and then we add everything else. First off, I came back here to Mullumbimby because of COVID-19. I was living in Melbourne, and I did the first lockdown, and I really struggled um, through that and then it was opening up. I was like, yeah, I might go back to work and then Unfortunately, we got hit with the second wave. So we made the move back to Mullumbimby and In the process of all of the lockdown and stuff. I'd become really interested in sourdough So I was watching YouTube videos every day because I had nothing better to do um, and then Made my first bread. It was hopeless. There was like this big patch of just denseness in the middle and I was so disappointed I was like 
what can I do? And I tried again and it still wasn't there. And then, and then I just kept on going and going and it started getting better and better. And I was so close to getting a perfect loaf. And then that second wave hit and I came back here and I made a loaf for my family and it was just perfect. It was the best loaf I'd ever made. I was so happy and I started making more and more for my grandparents and family and friends. And my grandma one day said, oh, you should start selling this and make it more of a profession. And I was like, no, no way, not, not with all the work and it's not worth the money. And, and then I, I was, something stuck with me and I was looking on Gumtree one night at ovens and I saw this double deck pizza oven and it was 200 bucks and I was like, all right, what, what can I lose? So I went and picked it up the next day. The next day I was like, all right, gotta get serious, gotta start buying flour. So I bought all my flour and stuff and then, and then made a post on, a, on my Facebook and on my Instagram saying, you know, order. And at first it didn't take off and I only got like three orders in the first hour and I was like, wow, this is a bit disappointing. And then, and then I posted on this site called Mullen Bites. So shout out to everyone on Mullen Bites that had, gave me such good response. But I just got this flood of messages and people going, yes, like we will 100% support this. Like we love a local baker. And within two hours after that, I was sold out for Saturday and Sunday. And then I was, uh, and then I had to do 48 loaves by hand, all by myself. And by the end of the day, I was just so wrecked. And I was like, oh my God, how am I gonna continue this? How am I gonna do this on Sunday? How am I gonna back it up? Because I was getting up at four the next morning. Um, and I, yeah, the first week did 48 loaves by hand. So testament to what your mind can do and everyone really loved it. And then slowly just started expanding, putting more effort into it, buying things like a mixer, doing things like renting this commercial kitchen so that I can have an oven. So the idea with Beckerman Bacon Co at first was to keep it very small and I only really wanted to do it for a month or so, but I've been really like, I don't know if encapsulated is the right word, but I've fallen in love with baking and I really want to pursue it. See what you are. This is, this is not working at the moment, what I'm trying to show. But you can see, you can see like the little particles there without, without me ripping the dough anymore. So the gluten's actually developed. So you see that? See, well, it just ripped again. So it probably isn't done, but it's much better than what it was. So I think we'll let that sit for a couple of minutes and then this dough should be done now as well. So with the high hydration, this is a lot stickier and this is also done now. So you see like, you can see, no, you can't see it from this angle anymore, but from this angle, if you hold it up to the light, you can see the, mm -hmm. you can see my finger behind it at times. So I'd say this is done as well. So we'll start packing these into, into, um, into their dough bins. Anyway. Alright, leave you guys oh, to it. Good luck. So Cheers, mate. Um, Happy baking. Yeah, I might be here on Monday. It's looking like I'm gonna oh, yeah. have to be here a bit after nine, so we'll yep. see you in the morning then. You still want, want your loaf as usual? Yeah, I'll be at nine. Um,
This is 12 loaves of dough in here. Take note of how much is in there at the moment because by the end of the night, it'll be pretty much pushing out of these bins and that's when you know it's fermented, so. to incorporate into the bread. The mix is linseeds, sunflower seeds, and sesame seeds. So they just get put on top. And then to incorporate it, what I like to do is to kind of like dimple. Oh, I don't know if that's the right word, but this is what I've found to incorporate it the best work at it a little bit and push all your seeds into the crevices i don't mix them in at the same time because mixing seeds and your dough at the same time it, because they're such like hard little seeds they can actually rip the dough and it just ruins all that gluten development that you've been going for so these loaves go for nine dollars each which is purely because the seeds are quite expensive compared to compared to seven dollars a loaf for a standard sourdough so still still really like quite competitive and quite up there all the seeds are organic all right so this is our baguette dough which we're gonna give some nice stretch and fold so as you can see at the start it actually is really stretchy because it doesn't have much tension in the dough but as folds go on, it will have more surface or more tension. In. Darling, I know it's hard to let go. Soon I will hold you again. First of the night. Normally I would do the baguettes in the morning, but we're gonna do them tonight instead, so just shaping them. for the day. It's, um, it's really <laughs> quiet every every morning and stuff so it's actually really nice to drive with because there's no idiots. Um, but yeah this is a classic weekend for me. It's not not partying out all night. We're going to bed pretty early and then getting up when people are going to sleep, in a sense, so, yeah. Um, but yeah, just weighing out this 
morning dough. I can feel a couple of clumps, like uneven clumps, which is a bit annoying. But you just gotta. Someone's just gonna get going to get an unusually seeded loaf. <laughs> like you can still. That oh, yeah. Probably didn't incorporate very well. Out of the whole process, what's your favourite part of it? I think there's a beauty in what goes on in sourdough, and I think there's these days there's not much of an appreciation for good bread. It's you just buy your bread and you just eat it. There's there's not much thought process that goes into where your bread came from and what's happened to that bread, the stages it's gone through, and especially with the day and age these days that with Coles and Woolies being able to pump our bread insanely quick. Um, my favorite part is, I think there's a lot of favorites, and but to pinpoint it probably the process it goes through to get such a good yummy bread and at the end of the day that yeah rep makes me really happy when i see my loaves come out of the oven and they've got this golden top and they just look beautiful and, and i can see and i know what's gone into that bread there's literally three ingredients which is flour water and salt there is nothing else in the bread whereas somewhere like woolies has god knows what they they've put mm. to flavor their breads to give it that sourdough taste they've put things like lactic acids and amino acids and things like that and look at the next packet of bread at, from woolies and check all the ingredients and tell me in the comments how many of those ingredients you actually know what they mean what what like what's enriched flour what's Mm. what's all the crap in there so especially if it's just sourdough exactly it's, it's everything but sourdough so yeah that's there's a beauty to everything but yeah those ones feel out a lot these yeah yeah that's why i want to get more of those because they just they, it's the same with they, they've done the same job there but this one is just Heaps better. Do you actually have to score them? Yeah, so the reason you score them is to is so that it gives somewhere for all the gas to go when it goes into the oven. Otherwise you would get this it, it would go into the oven and it the gas would build up and have absolutely nowhere to go and it would just start cracking. Um, and then the loaf would end up all crazy cracks. So having a score opens the loaf up to um, to let out all that gas and stuff. Short term, I would like to maybe work at a really nice artesian bakery and just learn everything. So I can take that knowledge onwards to open my own bakery. So long term, I would really love to open my own bakery, but at these times, it's probably it's probably a bit, a bit far-fetched as I've only been doing this for two months and who knows what the future holds really. I, I, get to the end of it, I might get a month in and I'll be like, Fuck, I don't enjoy this. And then I've invested all this money in ovens. So I think I've got this experience now so I can take that to any bakery. So if any bakery wants to hire me, or oh, not now, maybe in December, but <laughs> if any bakery wants to hire me, I am looking for employment in the future. And then if anyone else wants to become a business partner, partner and open a bakery with me. My arms are wide open. I love, would love to share this workload, but yeah, that's, that's Beckham and Banking Co. Okay, 
love that weight pattern. Mm. Look, look at that. It's so beautiful. I wish I had a bit more skill in scoring, but mm. they're pretty nice. That looks so nice. Yeah. So before you eat your bread, you can't eat it straight out of the oven. If you open it, it'll, it'll be too hot in the middle and then it'll kind of like ruin the bread. It'll go all dense. So normally just leave it to cool on some racks for at least an hour and a half. So the reason they look a little bit odd is probably because I picked them up instead of um, instead of putting them on the board and then chucking them onto the bench, but it's okay. There's always gonna be imperfections in your bread and I'd minimize it as much as I can so that you guys still taste a good bread. It might not look good, but it still tastes good and it's still good for you at the end of the day. So who, who cares? <laughs> That's a really, really, really awesome logo, Luther. Yeah, so we got this you get logo designed um, as one of my first things, um, courtesy of Jarvis. He is helping me with this filming at the moment, and he also designed all my logos, so always got to give a big shout out to him, and he's getting some free bread today, so. Yes. Yes. car now which we load up and then and then take it back home and start selling to all of our customers so yeah but <laughs> this little toyota yaris can do anything so, so it's just pick up yeah so we do pick up from my place in mullumbimby uh anytime between 9 to 12 and you just they all the customers have placed their order prior and they just come through and pick up their loaves and say hello. Right. She's got my back she'll follow me down every street no matter what my crime Cheesy, 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 cheesy